Our first caller is Jessica from Louisiana. Hey, Jessica, how can we help you? Hey, guys, thanks for having me. Um, so my question is uh, more about um, calorie intake and um, also definition. Um, I have been consistently weight training for about a year. Um, before that was more so on and off and more focused on endurance. But for the past year, it's just been um, weight training and focus uh, little to no uh, cardio. So, but I feel like I'm not getting the muscle definition that I want. Uh, mainly my glutes or side glutes and uh, midsection. And I was wondering this was because uh, I'm not eating enough, but also because my concern is my midsection. I was wondering um, if I should be strict on my diet. Um, I mean, it's already kind of hard for me to eat more. Um, but I was wondering if I need to, I guess, count calories or attract foods and limit fats if my goal is to um, build more ab muscle or show my abs more. Um, and then I also was wondering if I should be focusing my exercises more on uh, like glute exercises, like adding more glute exercises, more ab exercises. And um, and how would I do that without having to stay at the gym for two hours uh, every time I'm going over there for weight training? Yeah, no, great question. All right. So the couple things you said that, um, that are, are kind of hints to me that uh, in, in terms of the advice I'm going to give you. So number one. You want to if you want to develop those muscles more, you might need to do a little bit more volume or maybe change up the exercises for them. But one thing you said that was really interesting, you said, "I don't know if I can eat any more." So it sounds to me like you're 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 doing pretty well with your metabolism. You're eating a lot and you feel like you can't eat any more. So, um so I did I at one point I was tracking macros. I was tra I was uh, also downloaded an app, uh, my fitness call to uh, track what I eat. And uh, there was times where I would uh, I think I stayed between one thousand five hundred, um, one thousand four hundred, um, maybe one thousand six hundred on some days. Um, but it's, it was a struggle, and that was more so because I was trying to increase uh, protein and. Um, I've also tried, I've also always been, I guess, uh, trying to stay away from carbs, but that was um, not helping me when I was weight training, um, especially on the strength, when I was um, training more strength um, because I was lacking energy. So somebody told me I may have to do more carbs, but I'm just, I guess I'm afraid to increase because I always think that I need, I want to focus on my abs. So I feel like I may gain fat instead of um, strength. So Jessica, I know I know it's very rude to ask this, but for context, can you tell me how much you weigh? Um, one hundred and twenty-two pounds. Okay, how tall are you? Uh, five three. Oh, okay. So it's pretty appropriate body weight. Yeah, and if you're yeah. doing resistance training, and it says right there, are you, are you squatting one forty-five for four reps too? I see that on your notes. Yes. Yes. So, so it's, um, it sounds it sounds like to me that you're you're pretty healthy, pretty strong. You're a pretty good body weight for your size, right, but you want ass. but you want more definition, which there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with also wanting to go to the next level and and lean out or see more muscle definition, but this is in in my opinion this is where uh this is where tracking is so important. Um you're not somebody who's just trying to be strong, fit and healthy. You want a, another level to your fit your aesthetics and you you want to see definition and this is where it does get a little more nuanced with exactly where you're at calories and macros. And so I would challenge you to get back onto tracking and to see where you're at. And we would, because here's the thing, you have, you have abs, you have a side, but it's there. If you want to see more definition, it will be leaning out and dropping body fat percentage. And in order to do that, because you're already in a pretty good place, sounds like you're kind of intuitively eating and maintaining a pretty good place. But if you want to go to the next level, it might take the next level of dedication, which may mean for you tracking, not so much you need to do more work as far as in the gym, but maybe you just need to do more work around tracking it and paying attention to what you're intaking. Yeah. I mean, you, you could you could literally figure out your average calories and just cut them down a few hundred and you'll probably get what you want, uh, especially now that we know your your weight and your strength. Because, like Adam said, you're in a really good place to do that. It sounds like you're in a really good place to cut a little bit, 
and then to see that come purely from body fat. Okay. Okay. Well, right. thanks. Yeah, no problem. And good job, by the way. It sounds yeah. like you're you're kicking ass. I mean, you were doing a lot of endurance stuff before, but for the last year, been weight training. Your strength is good. Body weight for your height is phenomenal. So great job. You're in a great position. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm glad I find y'all. Awesome. Because <laughs> yeah, no you've problem. been helping me a lot. Awesome. Great. Thanks for thanks for listening. All right. Thank you. You know, it's 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 tough with these because uh, when you're you're talking to a potential client in real life, you could see what they look like. Well, yeah, that's I why know. I have to ask that. You know, I know it's rude to ask uh, somebody their weight. some context. Though. But, it, I mean, I, I could kind of tell what I, well, I saw. Like, we can see on her notes, right? So she didn't say it, but we can see uh, the notes. It pops up on the TV screen, and it says that she's squatting 145 pounds. I'm like, she's squatting 145 mm -hmm. pounds. She sounds like she's she's eating relatively good. She's full, you know what I'm saying? So I'm right. like, what's her weight at? She says her weight. And I'm like, okay, she's not fat, you know what I'm saying? So she's in pretty, it sounds like she's in pretty good shape, but she wants the next level. And it's like, okay, well, this is where- This, this is where you got to get the specific. Yeah. You well, this, get this is where tracking is so important. Like, you know, I, I can maintain, my, even myself, even with all of our fitness knowledge and experience- I can main my, maintain relatively healthy and fit and strong. But if I want abs or I yeah. want to look a certain way, even I go back to tracking. I go mm. back to tracking so I can be very precise about it because when you're trying to get down to that body fat percentage to expose your abs and show separation. Especially when you're female. more intensity. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot more focus on that. Yeah, especially when you're female. Like getting down to get like visible abs as a female – is it's actually more challenging than it is for a man. They they hold more body fat. So, you know, uh, I it's, it would be hard for a woman to get to that kind of leanness without tracking and doing it properly. I mean, Unless you could, genetically you were already a very lean person. Right, right, right. Yeah. right.